Hello. Welcome today to our Essentials 101 class. I mean, I have been using essential oils for over eight years now, and there's not a day that I go without using essential oils. It's become a lifestyle for me, and it is something that helps um, bring me to a place of calmness and peace and clarity. Um, then it also helps me have more energy. And then I also use it as like ancient medicine. Um, I use that before I go to um, certain medicines and like, for instance, ginger, it's a go-to and a must have in all households. And um, uh, then there's a peppermint. And for some reason, it just brings this wholeness to me and also a non-toxic lifestyle. And for those that don't use essential oils, sometimes, you know, they, they don't think it works or that it's ridiculous or what's all this hoopla around it. And so today I wanted to invite you to take a look at essential oils and also the science behind it and some little common things that you can do to incorporate into your lifestyle so that you can have a more sensational lifestyle. So um, I want to introduce you to my friend and one of my business partners, Carol, and she's been doing this for a long time and she helps me out all the time when I need advice and she reminds me of like what I need to do first. And um, so she's just a wealth of knowledge and I'm so excited that um, you get to meet her today and for her to share this information because I can tend to go off on a tangent, blah, 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 but she keeps it all grounded and so simple and just explains it in a very simple way so that you can use essential oils for you as well. And where um, uh, it's not all essential oils are the same and um, why the quality matters and why Young Living, which is a company I have chosen to really align myself with and I prescribe it to my clients and um, I use it on an everyday basis. So I'm so excited for her to share this information with you. And I hope that this ignites something into you where like you're curious and that you want to live a more healthy, non-toxic and sensational life. So Carol, um, thank you for being here. And uh, can you tell us a little about your story and how you got started? Yeah, um, thanks, Twiggy. It's great to be here. And your enthusiasm gets me all revved up again. I've been doing this for about 15 years. And I'm going to share my screen here in just a moment because I want to go through a, a quick, maybe 15 minute overview uh, to give the viewers a more complete understanding on what essential oils are and why everybody should be um, incorporating them in some respect into their lives. So if you can be so kind as to allow me to screen share, that would be awesome. Is it this login with, no? Is it the whiteboard? No, it, it says it's disabled. It says you're screen sharing. Okay. So let's Zoom. Sorry, guys, you know, I'm not the techiest. You, you know, th this is OK. We all go through this. We're, we're not into the techie stuff, but um, I think if you make me co-host, I should be able to do it. OK, let me. All right, we're on board again. Yeah, so I'm so happy to have a few moments to share my first love really in my life, and that is essential oils, something that everyone, no matter who they are, what age they are, I mean, even animals can benefit by having them incorporated into uh, some aspect of their lifestyle. So let's just go into um, a quick recap about who I am. I've been around uh, quite a while in the resort hospitality industry, and believe me, my life was very mainstream, and I had no knowledge and no interest in anything like this. Uh, up until the time my 87-year-old mother had a huge life challenge to the point that she nearly died, and it was because she was given uh, a toxic antibiotic that... Um, was was beyond any anything that we had seen and certainly her doctors had seen and they had no solutions and since we were at the end of our rope uh asked for some guidance on where to go and fortunately a woman who we knew casually um entered the scene and suggested using essential oils 
Now, the reason why we listened to her is because she had had a closed brain head injury and had recovered beautifully. So why not? We had nothing to lose. And I got deep into essential oils, Young Living Essential Oils. Um, and it was a hands-on experience of learning what all these things can do for you on a physical, emotional, and spiritual level. And the good news is this 87-year-old lady recovered in six months, got renewed health, and had a better life um, than she had before. So, of course, I started looking at the oils myself, thinking, well, if it's good for her, it's probably good for me. And I gradually got into using them here and there. And then it became something that I couldn't stop talking about. And people could see the change in me. My energy was better. I wasn't getting my travels for my business. Um, I was a new person. And so now it's important to me to connect people with what essential oils can do. And it was an evolution for me. I didn't just pop in and start using 30 different oils overnight. I into it. And so this is going to show you how anybody can get into essential oils and start their journey one step at a time. And so we're going to now go into a little bit of the background on what essential oils are. Where do they come from? Well, they come from plants. And frankly, no matter what kind of plant it is, there's going to be some form of essential oil in it. And you're looking at shrubs, you're looking at flowers, you're looking at trees, fruit, resins. Um, it, it's, it's amazing. Uh, the plant kingdom is definitely um, covered with essential oils. Well, so what do they do? Well, through the plant, they protect the plant from harm and from disease. And so they're called essential because they're essential to the plant's survival. Now they act very much like blood does in humans. The essential oil delivers nutrients and oxygen to the plant. So there's a lot of parallels in what the oils are doing for plants that it made total sense to look at that and say, well, if it's doing that for plants, I'm sure it can do a lot for other life forms, particularly animals and people, birds. I mean, it, it, there, there's no limitation. If you're alive on this planet, you're going to benefit from essential oils. So, you know, we have a world full of toxins and personal care products are probably the biggest culprit. When you put something on your skin, 26 seconds later is all it takes for those ingredients if they're toxins in particular that should alarm you to get into your bloodstream. And so we really are talking not about just essential oils because they smell good, but because they're not a safe alternative to all the toxins that really are in your lifestyle without you even knowing it. It can be in personal care products. It can be in your, your cleaning products and um, just things that you normally use, but over time they accumulate in your body and your liver can only, you know, cleanse so much and your body can only detox so much before they start creating problems. And these chemicals can lead to disease. It may not be tomorrow. You may say, hey, everything's fine with me now. Well, down the road, it may be a different story. So what I like to say to you is essential oils can be integrated into your lifestyle as a slow alternative to things you're buying over the counter, to synthetic products, to look at labels and see what's in it. And if you can't pronounce it, you probably shouldn't be using it and get into the earth-based tools that can help you do the same thing that these other toxic products can do. So let's look at the history of essential oils because a lot of people think this is the new kid on the block, and it is not. These oils have been around since prehistoric times. You know, back in Egypt, they were used for medicine. They were used for skin as salves. And of course, um, in China, the Eastern medicine incorporated them. And the emperor of China wrote a book on uh, aromatics, which is another word for essential oils. And they were incorporated into Ayurvedic healthcare back in 2000 BC. I'm sure most people are familiar with what has been uh, referenced to the birth of baby Jesus in terms of frankincense and myrrh being gifted to him. Well, there's more than 52 uh, references to essential oils in the Bible. Unfortunately, back in the Middle Ages, the monks were uh, very knowledgeable about essential oils, but they had to keep it a secret 
because the church considered them to be decadent. And one could be put to death or sentenced to death if they were using them. That's really hard for me to believe. But that probably was the beginning of a lot of suppression of this knowledge. Fortunately, back in the 1600s, writings were restored and it became a little more well-known what oils could do. And to the point in the 1800s, essential oils were prescribed by pharmacists by a variety of illnesses. Isn't that a beautiful thing? I wish that was still the case today. Uh, and then in 1910, lavender oil was uh, found to be very antiseptic. It was found to heal burns and it became used uh, um, as a tool for wartime um, injuries. So now today, here we are, um, modern day, and essential oils are becoming integrated into mainstream living again. So, how do they support you? Well, nervous system, digestive system, muscular system, that's physical, but they also support you emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Here's an important topic, and that is about the quality of all essential oils. And it's very critical that you look at them as individual companies, individual products, because what happens when a plant produces an essential oil can go on many different routes and very many different paths before they ever reach the market. The market is flooded because now essential oils are becoming well known. And you have to be very discerning about what you are using because they may not help you if you use the wrong product, they could actually harm you. And if you're going away from chemicals and toxins, you've gotta be sure you got the quality essential oil that is free of them as well. So if you look at the bottom of this chart, you're gonna see the floral waters. There's more floral waters, low quality oil out there and in the market and they're being used primarily in hair and skin products. You go up to perfume grade and that's, um, those are gonna be altered oils. They, they do contain chemicals and solvents. So again, that's for an aroma, but that's all it can do. And because it's contaminated with chemicals, too much juice may be hurting you. Natural and food grade oils can be organic, but they can also and often do contain chemicals. It's all based on how they are processed and how they are handled in the many steps that um, occur between the time the seed is planted and when the oil is processed. Therapeutic grade is what we're talking about today, which is what Young Living Oils are um, really the, the industry leader, and they are pure. You can take them internally. There's been no alteration. This is the highest quality oil that could possibly be obtained from a plant and nothing goes into it until it gets into the bottle. So we are the world leader in essential oils. The company is almost 30 years old and our founder, Gary Young, started researching and was a explorer into and, and an influence in bringing this back into modern day world more than 34 years ago. So young living farms equal the highest quality. We have a very stringent process of securing the highest quality seeds. Not all seeds are gonna produce high quality oil. We grow them in organic soil that has never had chemicals or pesticides. And then we have to harvest take time, the right temperature, the right time of day, the right time of year. Distilling the oil requires low pressure and low heat. We test multiple times, at least 10 tests that we do over and over, again, to verify the purity, the chemical makeup, and to ascertain that there are no heavy metals. And this is another, the fifth step is really important because we have the oils validated as being ready to go to market want to ensure that it's going directly from that testing lab right into the bottling, that there's no other third party or other um, tampering with that quality of oil. It goes directly into the bottling and Young Living has total oversight and control and um, again, validation that this is pure from start to finish. Our ultimate goal is to have oils that smell good, but most importantly, heal the, bi the body, mind, in the spirit. So how do we use essential oils? Well, there's three main ways. One is aromatically. That's simply open, you know, taking a bottle and taking a whiff. 
and that doesn't use any drops. It's a way to get it into your system. You can put five or 10 drops into a cold water diffuser and fill up your room with a great aroma. You can put the oils on your body, one to two drops. You can also put it in water or tea and drink it, or put a few drops into a vegetable capsule and take it like a supplement. So how do you start with oils if you haven't been involved with them or you're curious and you're kind of gun shy? Well, it's, it's simple to do it, but you wanna start out slow. Begin with a few oils and use them daily. Even if you started with one oil, use it daily, use it consistently because that's how you're going to reap the benefit and feel the difference. Again, put them on or put them in the air. Less is more because these are pure, concentrated, non-diluted oils. One to two drops is all you need for application. And you can use these over and over and over, but they're highly concentrated. If you do more than that, you might be just wasting your, uh, your oils. Here's some quick suggestions on what a lot of people like to start with when they get into them. The first one is lavender. Everybody loves that relaxation. Um, it can help you go to sleep if you diffuse it or put a few drops on your feet. If you get that cut or burn, you know, put it on. It'll heal very quickly. Or if you have allergies, it helps people control those. You know, peppermint is, is very uplifting. It's, it's also really good for um, bugs and spider bites um, and <laughs> just bugs in general. Um, this year, the bugs have been horrible. And um, uh, I just put some of that on for like my little girl and I, you know, and she got a bug bite that ran me and it's red here. So I put that on there for her with a little bit of carrier oil. And she's like, mom, that smells so good. And yeah. then it just like really calmed it down. And lavender really is the Swiss army knife of all essential oils. Like when in doubt, just lavender it out. <laughs> Absolutely. If you had that and frankincense, you're probably good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so peppermint too, you know, when it gets really hot, like it's been this summer, sometimes I put a drop of peppermint on the back of my neck and it cools me down inside. Yeah. So, yeah. Peppermint is definitely one of my favorite oils and it's a driver oil. It's a more of a heat one, but like on your shoulders here, it's amazing. And so if, if you put like another oil on it in peppermint, it makes it go in deeper and it's just so awesome. Um, I just love that smell, like diffusing it to give me a pick me up in the middle of the day. And then um, I also like it at, in a spray. And I think I learned this from your son and he sprays it around like his windows and like the doorways and stuff. And that helps like the bugs as well. And yes. so it's natural bug repellent and it makes your house smell good and the vibration higher and it gives it more energy and um, just like it, at the same time, like a calmness to it. So Peppermint is definitely um, one of my favorites as well. Like I never go without it. And um, yeah, I can't say enough about the peppermint. Oh, and in the winter, I love putting it in a little bit of hot cocoa. Um, I just get like a toothpick mm -hmm. and I put it in there and then I put it in the hot cocoa and it's just like this peppermint hot cocoa mix. That's just like divine. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point to me because these are all oils you can cook with or you can mix into shakes or smoothies or whatever. And, and they do add a lot and you're getting the benefits when you take it that way. You know, I want to say one thing before I go into any other oils is that we're talking about a lot of different uses of these oils, but this is just a snapshot. It's really unlimited. You know, how many products do you buy? And it's like, you use it for this and that's it. You buy one of these oils and there could be 30, 40, 50 unlimited uses. So you get a bigger bang for your buck, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, frankincense is, again, like we said, it's, it's one that's so good for so many different things, including prayer, meditation. It helps people when they feel down in the dumps. And it does work well on your skin. It, it's a good protocol. I put it on my skin every day before I put on my moisture cream. And it really supports the healthy cell regrowth. Yeah. And it's a good immune booster. So next I I used to not like frankincense because I maybe like the Catholic thing and we were growing up, you know, but now I love it. And if it's one oil that I was like stuck on an island, you know, that I had to have, it would be frankincense. 
because yeah. of all the multi-uses of it. And frankincense back in the days, I mean, it was if it's good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me, I think. Um, <laughs> it, it was like one of the things that the three wise men gave to Jesus. Um, and one of the reasons is also because it helps stretch marks for Mary. And back in the days, like frankincense was more expensive than gold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well said. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they valued it so much and we need to start appreciating it as well now mm -hmm. um digize is one that's good for supporting digestion that's this is a blend of oils that are all good for you know your gastrointestinal process and you know if you have a you have an issue no matter what it is you can just put it on your stomach or you can drink some water and it's gonna it's gonna help you the next one is also a blend it's called deep relief and this one is to give you relief on sore muscles or something physical. Um, people wouldn't diffuse this. They would just rub it on the body where the body needs some support. And it'd be a great alternative to over-the-counter like Ben Gay. Mm -hmm. And then Thieves is the signature most well-known blend from Young Living. And this one is, it's unique. It, it has a story that goes back to the Middle Ages during the bubonic plague. Young Living founder Gary Young spent a lot of time researching all over the world, and he found in the historical archives the account during the bubonic plague of thieves who were ripping off gold and jewels off of dead and dying bodies, and they were not getting sick. So when they were arrested, they had to disclose what they were doing, and they revealed this recipe of herbs that they protected themselves. So Gary turned it into a blend, and it is proprietary. It is exclusive and only available through Young Living, and it is a powerhouse. It does protect your immune system. Look, I traveled all over the world for my career. And I was always coming home under the weather, this or that was going on. Once I started using Thieves, this is the first blend I started with, I was fine. It changed the scope of everything. Mm -hmm. It's so effective that there's um, not only the oil blend, but there's a whole line of cleaning products and personal care products with that blend in it. So it's, it, it's a good one. I don't think there's a day that I don't use a Thieves product. Um, so there's the sanitizer, um, and then there's the oil, uh, then there's the cleaner, and I mix that cleaner up with everything, and I feel good using it, and I love, 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 love mixing it with um, baking soda like you showed me, and it gets the grime out of everything, and so it's a pleasure for me to clean the, uh, the tub now, because my little girl and I love to take baths, and um, I think but I don't like cleaning, you know, and this makes it so easy. It smells good. I'm not like, like holding my breath when I'm cleaning. And then uh, even sometimes when I don't have gloves, I don't feel like it's going to eat away at my hands and like dry in my hands, like other things have, you know? Um, yeah. So uh, the Thieves House of Products is phenomenal. And um, I'm always mixing it up and <laughs> giving it to my friends as well. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So it's really easy if you want to move away from your lifestyle now, which may not include essential oils or not enough, to make a shift to a chemical-free lifestyle by using essential oils. So Young Living has an easy get started kit that will allow you to access the most popular essential oils for the things we've talked about today, plus a diffuser. So you've got thieves, lavender, peppermint, purification, which is a blend of oils that can be used in a lot of ways to change the energy around you for cleaning, for uh, bug bites. It's just, it's a, it's kind of like thieves, but in a little bit more of a, uh, I don't know how to say it, Tweed, what you would describe it as. Well, I intermix thieves and purification because I don't want to get used to smell all the time too. And then I kind of get bored as well. Purification is a totally different scent. Now, I also use purification when I'm doing my space clearings. Um, mm -hmm. I make a blend of it and I also give it to my clients. Um, and then uh, I also use it to um, in my space clearings to uh, uh, get rid of ghosts as well. <laughs> um, and uh, it also a big bug repellent. I mean, purification, uh, once again, another bug pet. And, you know, I told you, I'm like all bugged out right now <laughs> because there's so many bugs here. And if you do get a bug bite, because I got stung by a bee one time and I put that on it, it went right away. So yeah. good. Yeah. 
And this is really great too, as like um, almost like a, a, a perfume. I, I make it into a roll on, you know, for the bug bite one reason. And then it just, it, it just smells great. And um, I just remember I was at Costco and I, what's that smell? And I was like, oh, and then you smell like a spa. Because like, <laughs> I'm always afraid that I'm going to be too much, you know? Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it, but it's, I love it. Calm, it's relaxed, uplifting. Yes. This kit also includes two roller wands, which are great. Stress, stress away, which is pretty much what it says. You know, people put this in their purse or they keep it in their car. And when they're in traffic or they got stuff going on at work, they just rub it on their, their wrists. They put it on their neck and whoo, chill out. And then deep relief is a roll on. Like I said, you just put that on your body where you have some stress or pain. So this I never um, tried deep relief until just recently. Um, I ordered this athletic pack because I love the pouch and then there were these roll-ons and um, they had the, some of the essential oils that I was like missing that I was going to reorder anyways. Um, mm -hmm. And deep relief wasn't in there. And I never had that before, but it does penetrate really nicely. And then for some reason, I got this like huge pain in my ankle a month ago. And I thought I had plantar's fasciitis. I didn't even know what that was. I'm like, but every time I walked, it just like shot up this pain on me. And so I um, used a deep relief because of that penetration. And then I also used a, mas a massage bow gun and I put it there and then um, in a week it went away. And so um, I was really just like all struck by that. And just um, uh, then when I put it in my bath, it really helps with um, just cooling everything down. Awesome. I yeah. like it. <laughs> so this kit includes a diffuser and mm -hmm. it's $112. Now this kit is costing much more than that. If you bought all these products separately, it would be probably twice as much, but this is 112 and we have a share while code. So you can get 10% off your first order and get it down to hundred dollars. So that's one way that you can start. And it's a very cost-effective way. So Let's just talk about three ways to get started on your wellness journey. You can purchase a starter bundle like I just showed you one of them, but there are others on the website, um, some that include a nutritional uh, superfood drink called Ningxia Red. There's also the Thieves uh, cleaning kit that you can look at, but no matter what kit you buy, it's going to save you a lot of money compared to buying the products individually. And you get a 24% discount that you can use on any purchase anytime for the following year. Now, if you don't want to start with a kit, no problem. You can just pick out some products that really resonate with you right now that you want to start with. You can do that. Using the products often and you start getting into the flow and in the lifestyle you want and I try older blends and, and other products, then you can get onto a free monthly loyalty rewards order and save even more, get product credits back that you can use for future orders. So everything is open to what works for you. It's customizable. And our whole wish is that you find one step that you're willing to take to move forward into embracing this lifestyle, which is here forever. It's not going to go away. It, it's been around since the beginning of time, and it's only going to get more predominant and people are embracing it even more now because they know what it can do for them with no harm possibly be done. Um, so the next steps is to contact Twee if you want to get involved. Um, I'm here also as a support. Twee and I work very closely together if you have any questions. Um, but yeah, that's the next step is to uh, let us know what you would like to talk about and uh, have other questions um, answered. Oh, well, I'm thankful for you presenting that information because I get like, I told you, like overwhelmed kids. So I'm so excited. That's why I kept like interjection things for you. And um, it has really become a lifestyle for me. I, sometimes I do it so innately now because it's like just in me, you know, but in the very beginning I wasn't. And it's taken me like, I think like two or three years to really um, do that. And then just testing things out and you helping me like, oh, but recommending this. And um, then that app that you showed me as well um, to help me know like, Oh, what oils do I use for this? You know, because it is like overwhelming. There's so much in, uh, information overload in obesity, you know, but this app really helps me know which oils to use. Um, and so 
you know, I want to share this with other people because it is just something now, like I just do so innately and it's become a lifestyle. Um, and I just can't see myself without using oils. And then it just doesn't make sense to me that no one else uses oils. And I get into um, like jargon and I'm like, oh, why don't you do this? And I think everyone uses it and everybody knows, but so many people don't. And so I really want to lessen that uh, for other people. And um, so you know, if you order, um, I'd love to show you a lifestyle and we kind of go through like a challenge and um, we'll just find the things that fit the best for you. But the best thing to do is start on the loyalty reward programs because then they show you um, other things where you get free products and that's how you get uh, uh, more into the other oils. Because some of the in uh, oils that I got to like really love is because I got it free from the loyalty rewards program, you know? And so it's just like love earning points and I love getting free stuff. And so, um, yeah, I don't, uh, I just see it as a lifestyle now and it's a sensational lifestyle. <laughs> Yeah. And I'll just say that this is a community too. When you, you mm -hmm. get your kid or you start with this, you're not by yourself because there are tools yeah. like Twee mentioned the app and there's other printed resources that you can get that are all repainting to young living oils. Because if you find yeah. just some general book on aromatherapy, it's not going to tell you the stuff that this presentation is telling you because this is unique to the quality of young living, but uh, we're all here to share yeah. and we help each other out. And uh, it's fun to be yeah, we're kind of a family together. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for watching and just looking at this information. And I look forward to connecting with you and getting you into a whole new non-toxic sensational life. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks.